I really wanted to talk to you. It won't take long. Please. <sighs> what do you want? Uh, <laughs> hey, what are you sitting down for? You said it would be quick. Um, Hurry up and say what you need to say. Uh, well, I just wanted to thank you for saving me earlier. And, uh, sorry for punching you in the face. When I woke up, I wasn't really myself, and I kind of overreacted. Yes, you did. Sorry. Is that all you came here for? To waste my time with your corny speech? You're not even supposed to be up here. Uh, hey, this is important. I just didn't want you getting the wrong idea, because I really do appreciate you sticking up for someone like me. Not many people are willing to do something like that. So thanks. Again. Let me clarify. I didn't help you because I wanted to become BFFs. Uh -huh. I did it because my biggest peeve is disruption and hierarchy. Four people can't team up on one guy, beat him up, and then say he was put in his place. That's not how order works. It should be a fair fight between two people. One on one. If you had fought each of those four separately, you wouldn't necessarily have lost. Don't you think? Uh, um, you're giving me way too much credit. Don't forget, I'm a cripple, after all. It really doesn't matter what I do. In the end, I'll always be at the bottom. Well, that's all I had to say. I gotta head back home, but I'll see you around. Liar. You're really overselling the fact that you're a cripple. Why do you keep denying your place? It's almost as if you're trying to convince yourself that you're completely powerless. An expulsion on a school record is serious. It shows an individual's refusal to comply with authoritative figures. And the higher the rank of the individual, the worse it looks. After reviewing his transcript a few times, I noticed something. John wasn't expelled for beating up his classmates. He was expelled because his old school couldn't control him. What happens when a high tier runs rampant? You can't just let him run free. You have to get rid of him. Is the coast clear? Right now, John is happily minding his own business. It's best to keep things that way. But knowing Arlo, there's no way he'll let all this slide. So I need to find a way to avoid him for the next week or so. What you looking at? Arlo? I'm actually really busy today. Let's talk later. <laughs> Don't even think about running from me, Ison. You haven't been answering my calls for the past few days. Care to explain yourself? Shit. <laughs> He does not look happy. Uh, just no new intel yet. So I didn't want to bother you. I wasn't born yesterday. You can analyze the attack pattern of a shadow organization like Ember, but you can't find basic info on one of your classmates. <laughs> Give me a break. Now tell me what you found. Don't you want this story to be a success? Yeah, I'm dropping the story. You... What? Right now, I think the best course of action is to wait for Serafina to get back and pretend this investigation never happened. He probably has his own reasons for hiding his ability anyway. So why provoke him? Everything is fine the way it is. He is not in his rightful place. Yeah, but who are you to decide that though? Crap! I didn't mean to say that out loud. Even with my ability activated, I still can't budge his arm. Let me remind you, I decide everything around here. Tell me what you found now. I... I can't. Why's that? Because I know you'll put him on blast. And I'm afraid of what he'll do, okay? Hmm. Huh? Arlo. <laughs> If you're that opposed to exposing John, then I can't force you to help. But there's no way I'm letting all this go to waste. I'll get to the bottom of this. 
Wait! Harlow, please stop! You don't know what you're getting us all into!